this role. This time we're rolling with um, a purple belt, uh, Phil, and uh, it's during a session where uh, I think it's the last session and um, before um, we had an in-house competition. Um, so here I'm just working off my back, trying to be more comfortable working off my back. And uh, uh, Phil is obliging me in uh, making it uncomfortable for me to work on my back. And this is like this is like the second last roll, and I'm fairly tired at this point. But uh, I, um, I think it's the first time I've actually rolled with a purple belt in these videos. And I think for me personally, purple belts are the favorite people to roll with. And um, they give me a good bit of challenge and as well as capitalize on my stupidity or laziness. And so here, gone for a daily heva and he's keeping good balance i want to try and bring him over to um off balance him a bit but he's uh keeping a solid base and and um, just kind of moving around and he hops back so here i managed to get him down to a knee and i'm just kind of keeping him close and i've got he's um, sitting back in headquarters there as if i'm just tip him um to make him a bit more comfortable but uh um, i lose controls and then he manages to get his legs free of mine and now he's trying to you kind of steer me like a steering wheel, but I'm just trying to square up and follow him as he's moving around. And I'm kind of gripping that heel, thinking I want to go to single leg X or something and tangle, but um, he's pretty much beaten, and I should be should have been should be holding that leg. But anyway, he closed the distance, um, and then almost like wind, uh, windshield wipes his legs, and now he's in uh, side control, uh, pinning me. And so, I'm staying calm as, as I normally do in these positions, I feel where um, I can maybe. Um, he's got given me a bit of space and so a shrimp and um, hip escape and uh, now square up and we're beginning this whole sequence again he's uh he breaks the grips and he's trying to step around this time just basically following him with a frame of a hand and uh he's keeping mobile more mobile than i want him to be because <laughs> i'm kind of lazy and tired and uh, he's just moving around and i'm just trying to make sure i square up and now i'm just like oh <laughs> I was just gonna sit in there and I was lazy and uh, seeing what he'd do but he jumped over that foot and I couldn't square up in time and now he got head control and he's over um, kind of like north slash, slash, north south slash head control uh, head control? gosh <laughs> side control now okay now he's in side control and uh, and so I'm just keeping my elbows tight um, I'm gonna see what he'll do if he's wanting to go for a submission I kind of feel him um, feeling if he wants to try and um, expose my neck for a choke and I was trying to shrimp out but he then moves around to like a knee on belly slash north south and he's pinning me with that knee and uh, now he's gone to north south trying to get underneath my arms and so um, he's far away from my hips and he's got decent um, upper body pin um, and he's trying to keep everything tight feeling where he's trying to go for a choke and just keeping myself defended and so he can't advance his grips and so now he's trying to get underneath that arm I was using to defend and um, I feel this is my opportunity to escape so as he overcommits to try and get an arm lock that's when it'll give me space to get out and so that's what um, I do to come up and so here I've tried to pull him back to get in the middle of the shot but then he uses the opportunity to get to single leg X that we were working on in the class and so now I'm trying to grip his upper body so he can't stretch me out away from him to off balance me um, um, but then I tried to kick over there, but he had that foot pretty established. So um, I try something interesting here. <laughs> I'm trying to toe hold um, just to try and get a hold of him and uh, maybe use this a sweep. Um, and so, like, I don't really, I'm not really in position to finish it properly since my own leg is in the way, but he's pretty stuck and uh, uh, and I'm kind of using this position to keep him close and using it to rest <laughs> and uh, get my wits about me. Um, and so. Um, while I can't finish, I was trying to get him to, cl to be close so I can close the guard, but he hops away, um, almost tripping up over his own belt in the process. <laughs> and, and now we're beginning this whole thing again. He's very far away, and uh, I'd have much prefer to keep him close in a close guard to slow him down. But anyway, so here um, he comes into a headquarters, and then he um, is trying to keep low into me. And so now I'm under the heart arm, I want to try and see if I can do a balloon sweep, but he controlled my leg and stepped over. And so now I'm... I've, um, got that leg while he's um, essentially past my guard and I don't really have much of a reason to be holding that leg <laughs> but I'm just like I'm just tired and then just slowing him down <laughs> and so I just, I just try to find a good opportunity to try and remove it so that I can frame and get space 
and get out as I should be doing. But the round ends and uh, thanks Phil for absolutely schooling me and you gave me a lot to think about in that time so you shook my head there as I got up. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next videos.